Hello everyone, welcome back to Crafts by the Bow. Today I'm going to use one of the stamp sets that will be retiring uh, at the end of this month. And it's the beautiful promenade set. Um, and I, I've really used this set quite a lot, mainly because of this one flower. And when you stamp this, you can either stamp with this and colour it in with blends or with sponging. Or you can also stamp this piece and then stamp that over the top so that you get a flower that's already decorated. And it does come with lots of um, dies as well. This makes a, quite a nice doily shape that I used on a lot of my Christmas cards. And I'm really actually going to miss it. So let me show you what I'm going to make. It's this card. It's got quite a lot of layers and you by no means do you have to do all of these layers. You could miss like, the white layer and the um, old olive layer out totally. It's just that I had those layers ready and this is what I wanted to make. So this is the card I'm going to make, but I'm going to use something else that's retiring and that's the lovely lipstick. And this is one of my very favourite vibrant pinks. But it's one of the in colours and it's only got a few weeks left. So that's going to be the base for my second card here. And if you check out my blog, then you'll see all the sizings on there. Don't worry about writing them all down just now. As there are a lot of pieces of card for this. And I do already have them prepped. And I've got my two white pieces, one for the front and one for inside. I've got a second layer of the lovely lipstick and I ran it through the Subtles embossing folder just to give it a little bit of sort of a little bit of texture, a little bit of extra dimension. And then I have a piece of old olive and another piece of whisper white which again I put it through the embossing folder and let me get the original. You see how it just gives it that little extra touch. So they're the pieces we're going to work with. And I'm also using up some of my DSP that's retiring. And this is the Garden Lane Designer Series paper. And it's a set of paper that was just all greens. And I didn't think I was going to use much of this. But actually, that's my second pack. <laughs> so I'm using a little bit of that DSP as well. Now, I've already cut some of the pieces of DSP because I want to put just a little bit on the bottom of the Whisper White card that's going on the inside. So I'm going to start with that. And I'm just going to run a little bit of adhesive down one edge. Pop this on. and then trim it and it, it's just to give some kind of continuity so that the inside matches the outside and the envelope matches and uh, I think it, it just ties the whole thing together so let's pop that in there okay, so that's our inside finished uh, I'm just going to reach over and get my glue my glue dots I'm going to need those in a minute or two. Okay, so for the outside, we start with the largest piece of Whisper White and I'm going to attach the other piece of lovely lipstick. This is the one that I'd put through the embossing folder. And it only has a small border. So when you line it up, it is just tiny. There we go. And then I'm going to pop that on one side and I'm going to attach my little piece of Whisper White that went through the embossing folder onto, again, only a slightly bigger piece of Old Olive. Tiny little border. But it, it's just enough to make the colours pop. Okay. Now across this, I'm going to put another of those pieces of the designer series paper, the same as we put on the inside. And I'm 
going to use my grid paper just as a measure so that I know I'm going to have it straight. And I'm going to put it up at two squares and then I know that this side has to be at two squares as well. And there we go. And I'm just going to trim that little piece off. And while we're doing this piece, I'm also going to put on a little bit of the seam binding. I wanted to have a little bit of ribbon on, but I didn't want it to be overpowering. And I thought that's the seam binding, because you could still see the colours through it, and it was only narrow. I thought that fitted in really well. So I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive on the back. I've got a little piece cut, and this is really static. I know I say it every time but uh, it is really static so it does stick it does stick to you okay there we are and now it's attached there and i will be attaching more glue onto here so it will stick down it's not going to pop off or anything But if you wanted to use tear and tape to attach that, that would be really good too. Okay, now I'm going to put the front piece on here. Okay, now time for stamping. So I'm going to stamp with my lovely lipstick and I'm going to use both of the flower stamps. First, I'm going to use this piece here. Now, when it's a light colour, I use first generation stamping each time but when it's a bit of a darker colour I really like to use, um, I stamp off for the lines because can you see how you can see the centre so much better. This is first generation stamping for both, for the lines and the outside and it just doesn't stand out as much. The lighter colours it doesn't really matter but these darker ones I think it's much nicer if you stamp off. So I'm just going to get a little piece of scrap and a little piece of card and show you what I mean. Okay, so I've got my lovely lipstick ready. I'm going to ink it up really well. And then I'm going to stamp off once. And then I'm just going to stamp like that. And I'm going to clean this while it's still fresh. I'm just going to go over it with a little cleaning pad. That works really well for our reds and pinks and the browns because they have red in. It just gets rid of a little bit more of the ink. And I'm actually going to use a wipe today. Okay, so there we go. And then it doesn't stain too badly. You can still see the pink through it, but some of it is from stamping with reds and pinks before I got the cleaning pad. And it, it doesn't take off the old ink, but uh, it's nice to make sure that you don't get too much red ink on. Okay, and then for this, I'm just gonna stand up while I stamp, just because I want this to be right over the edges. There, see how pretty that looks. I do like when it's stamped off that first time. Let's have this cleaned as well. Okay. I'll pop that away because we're not doing any more stamping with red or pink. If you do use the cleaning pad, you need to make sure you either wash the stamp afterwards or you know, clean it with a chamois or something, just so that you don't have the chemicals from the stamping pad, the cleaning pad, on your stamps. Okay, and then included in this set is a big die like this. So all I did was I put that on here and ran it through my big shot, and that's how I got this one that I showed you a little bit earlier. So I'm gonna put that right over there. And then next, what I did was I stamped some of the leaves. And let me see where I've just put my leaves. Here they are. 
I've got old olive and I used this leaf with the three little leaves on and I stamped in the old olive ink. Let's turn this round. I will use these later and you only need three. So I stamped those. Let's pop this lid on the ink for now because I don't need it again at the moment. And I wanted to have some colour variation. So I took my stamping blends and I just used the light one. And I coloured the leaves in. And can you see how it gives you that really nice two-tone look? And I think it sort of set off the flower a little bit more because there was a bit more to, to look at. Okay, and then again, I used the little the little die cut from the set, which has the three little leaves, and I just ran it through my big shot. Now, I did also try, let's get those ready. I did also try the other die cut that comes in there, which is a leaf die cut, and this is the shape it gives you. And while they're really nice, for my card, I liked these ones better. So experiment and see which ones work for you. Okay, so I'll pop those to the side. Then the last thing I stamped was the sentiment. And I wanted a happy birthday kind of sentiment, but there wasn't one on here. So I took another set that's retiring, the varied vases, and I used this little tiny birthday wishes. And I used my old olive just so that everything was a bit matchy-matchy. Let's see, that's, yeah. Okay, and then stamped on here. Let's close that one up. Move that one out of the way. And then I used my little label punch. You can see how much I've used this. I did have to sharpen it last week because I was using it a lot for a set of cards I was making. And to sharpen it, all you do is you put a little piece of tin foil or aluminium foil in and just press sort of half a dozen times and it just sharpens that little edge just enough so that it's not sort of pulling when it cuts. I'm just gonna line that up. It stamped out, it punched out much better after it had been sharpened. Okay. So let's start and put it together. Now here's the card I previously had made. And I'm going to attach this with dimensionals. I liked the look of it where it was just popped up a bit. And I like the little shadows it casts when you have things on dimensionals. And it just gives that, you know, that little extra depth and dimension to look at. Okay. And this... I just put it on a little angle over the DSP and the little bit of um, seam binding. And then my three leaves that I'd punched out already, I used my wet glue to add them. So. Sounds a bit wonked up, let's see. I've got a lot of it, but never mind. Okay. And I just wanted to have one at the top and the other two went at the bottom. It doesn't matter if it overhangs a little bit. Don't don't worry about that because it will it's still got that back in of the card to go on as well. And it actually looks quite nice if it overhangs just a tiny bit. Now, next, I made a little bow with the seam binding, and I've already pre-made it. it. It takes me quite a long time to make a bow with this, because it sticks to you. <laughs> and I end up with a, a big piece, and a, a long tail, and a small tail, and then it's stuck on my fingers, and I can't get it to work. So, I pre-made this. And I'm going to use my glue dot just to add it. And I didn't add this straight away when I put the rest of the seam binding on, just because I, I didn't know how far out these leaves would come. 
So that's why I didn't put it on earlier. Okay, I'm going to put this one on a little bit of an angle. And I will cut these tails, but I'm not going to cut them until it's on the base. Okay, now the little birthday wishes. You can either use the small dimensionals, or I'm going to use a little piece of the edging here. Just cut a little piece off. You can put this wherever you like. If you didn't want to put a ribbon on here, you could add it onto the DSP or you know, up at the top, over at the side. I wanted mine just a little bit higher than the DSP, but still over at that right hand side. Now, I'm going to attach it to my card and I'm going to attach it this time with my liquid glue. Just so I've got a little bit of wriggle room just in case I don't get it on quite straight. Then we'll go back to our card base. Now I was a little bit sad that the lovely lipstick is retiring, but actually when I saw the preview that the demonstrators get and uh, I saw the new in colours, there's a pinkish colour that I'm going to like just as much. If you don't have a catalogue and uh, you're in Canada, let me know and I can always send you one. And although you can't order until the beginning of June from the catalogue, if you sign up as a demonstrator, you can actually put new things from the new catalogue into your starter kit. So that's... Uh, that's quite a treat as well. Okay, now last of all, I've got my basic pearls and I took the darker of the old olives and just coloured a few in. You only need to just go round and then, you know, if you want them a bit darker, when they've dried, you just go round it again. Just make sure they've got time to dry, otherwise you get like little marks on your fingers. Right. I'll just get my pokey tool and I'm just going to take three of them and put these just wherever your eye likes them. There's no right and wrong way. And I rarely put them in the same position each time. <clears throat> you can see I, I did them totally differently. Now the very last thing to do is your envelope. And you can see that I've got my lining on the inside of my envelope this time. And that uses one of the other dies that comes with this set. And it's a piece that looks like this. And it's just for the inside of your envelope. So all I did was I took, um, I think it's slightly over two inches, strip of the same paper. I put the die on it, ran it through my big shot, and that's the piece that you get. Uh, let me find where I put my envelopes. Here they are. Okay, so I've got my Whisper White envelope. And all I'm going to do is I've opened the flap. And then I'm going to use... Actually, I'll use my liquid glue. I should put a little bit around the edges. I don't tend to put a lot in the middle of the strips, sort of all down here, because I know it's not going to move, I know it's not going to come off. And then this just goes on the inside here and just below the adhesive line. Now, I like it so that you can't see this edge, so I always move mine down a little bit, but what you could also do is just cut this a little bit deeper and then snip it off with your scissors. Just take that adhesive off there. Okay. And then just fold over the top flap. And so when somebody opens their envelope, they can see it's got that little design inside as well. And that's it. That's my little farewell to beautiful promenade. So I've really enjoyed using you. Thank you very much. So if you do think you would like to buy this set, make sure you do so before the beginning of June because once we get to the 2nd of June,
that's when all of the retired items disappear from the last chance products and the sale products and uh, sometimes the things that we like like this as well they will sell out because they're not making any more so if you want something like this and you know you want the dyes and everything get them before they sell out or get them before the beginning of June when our new catalogue starts so thank you again for watching me everybody check out my blog and there I will have all the sizings for the card layers that I used and I hope you enjoy using this. If you don't have this set, any other flowers would work as well, to be honest. Any of the larger flowers, even the magnolia, would look nice on there. But thanks again, everybody. See you soon. Bye-bye.